Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Finding Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use tables in Microsoft Expression Web 4. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use tables in Microsoft Expression Web 4. I used to say playing with tables because it's quite easy. It's very easy to use tables in Microsoft Expression Web 4. That's why I used to say playing with tables. Okay. Before starting the session, I want to explain you about the table. So what is a table? What is the use of a table? Why then you want to use table in your document or in your web page? The answer is if you want to arrange the content in your web page, the only keyword you want to use is table. To arrange or to align an information in a web page, you want to use table. For example, okay, so you see, now I want to arrange the information in sequence. I'll be using table. It's a common thing. So whenever you want to arrange an information in a web page, you want to use table. Got it? Yes. So now I will explain you the table tag. So the table is a table tag and cell spacing is a property of a table. Cell spacing, cell padding and border. And next comes table row. Okay. So one, two, three rows and two columns. Okay. So TR is a table row. Okay, TH is a table heading. Whenever you want to display any information in bold, you want to use TH, table header. Okay, so the serial number and name will be displayed in bold. And next comes the second row and TD. So you want to provide the data for the serial number 1 and name AA. And next comes the next row. So for serial number, the value is 2, name BB. So go to File, Save As. So you want to save as ex extension or HTML. HTML or HTML. Okay. And here, save it as all, all files. Okay. And I'm going to save it in desktop. Yes. Now where you can able to see my file is displayed as an Internet Explorer file. Why? Because it's an HTML. It's a hypertext markup language. What is HTML? It's a hypertext markup language. Whenever you want to represent any information on a web page, you should use HTML. Okay? Fine. See? Now the serial number name will be displayed in bold and it's a first row and two columns okay it's a second row one and name a a a and second row sorry third row name b b b so now i will change the value for cell spacing let us say eight and save it and refresh your web browser so this is a web browser now see now the space between the cells has been increased so now you can able to conclude what is cell spacing. The cell spacing is a property which is used to increase or decrease the space. See the space. This is the space between the cells. Got it. So I am going to make it as one. Now cell padding. Now see it. Now I am going to increase 20 and save it and refresh it. See what happens. See now the space between the cell and the text has been increased see the space between the cell and text has been increased that is called as an cell padding okay so the space between the text and the cell has been increased got it right and next I'm going to increase the border value let us say 8 and save it and refresh it fine you can able to see the border value has been increased okay so this is how you want to use tables we are going to use the same HTML tags in Microsoft expression web 4 
okay once again i repeat so table cell spacing cell padding border table row table heading and td stands for table data okay what is tr is good tr stands for table row what is th is good T th stands for table header what is td is good stands for table data okay right now we are going to do the same thing using microsoft expression web4 so open microsoft expression web4 just by clicking the icon now i'm going to create a table how to create a table on microsoft expression web4 there are two ways one where you can able to find the table menu okay this is a table menu you can click the table and you can insert the table by specifying the rows columns and alignments so default left right or center and float is a right alignment or left alignment and if you want to specify the width as 100% you can specify it either you can specify in pixel or in percentage next comes the cells padding and spacing and border size either if you want to give the colors you can give the colors okay and if you want to give the background color here you can select the background color if you want to use pictures you just click it and browse and select it and if you want to apply this setting as a custom setting for the newly created tables or upcoming tables you want to click this option you're going to set this this value as a default value for new tables but i'm not going to do this i'm going to use a second option here in toolbar where you can able to see tables so i'm going to insert the tables okay three columns and two rows okay so this is in now uh, three columns okay and two rows let's say here you can able to see three columns and two rows okay click it now i'm going to type here and next use tab for moving to next cell let us say department let us say result okay and next i am going to type let us say year 2013 to 2014 let us say department electronics okay there is 89% and electrical okay let us say 78% and let us say cfc coastal fishing captain and 89% let us say it 98% fine now i want to give some heading for this let us say i want to select this and make it bold okay fine but i forgot to provide an heading for this before this i want to provide an heading so i need a row before this how to do this just click on the cell right click insert where you can able to see the row above click so now i want to merge these three columns so select this three columns right click and where you can able to find modify and merge cells one second i repeat select the cells you wish to merge right click and move to modify and merge cells quite simple now i'm going to type fisherman training instead salala okay so now i'm going to select the text i'm going to make center so i'm going to make the size larger or else you can use the heading font and then i'm going to change the font style okay fine now after this i i need one more row okay so click this all right click again what you have to select is you want to select insert okay again click this all insert row below okay 
so now let us say result analysis okay now if you need next row just use tab okay you can use tab to generate new rows now after this I'm going to copy the same so one two three four so I need one more row and now I'm going to enter the value let us say 58 and 89 some values okay and after that okay again I'm going to insert some values okay okay uh, let us say 98 99 and 99 okay now select this file right click and where you can able to see modify and match okay so and make it center alignment and make it okay and then select this right click modify match cells okay let us say so 2012 to 2013 so select this heading center and now select this right click modify match cells so the value is let us say 2000 uh, 12 to 2013 okay let it be and select this and make it heading one and center okay fine and good now if you want to align if you want to give the colors okay just select the cell okay and then here if you want to select the colors click it and change the colors as you like and apply it okay why it's not applying why because you are not selected this cell so what you have to do is you want to select this cell either you click here okay you want to select like this or else if you feel difficult you click on the cell right click select you want to select the row you select the row now you apply okay now you apply the color okay apply it see and now if you want to apply the color for this row just click right click select row and then or you can use some other colors apply it fine and now I want to give the colors for this cell or column okay right click select you can use cell to select this cell this is cell okay and then go or go to back colors and you can change the color apply it so click right click select cell you can choose your background apply select and choose your background apply why see why because I have not selected this cell okay so what I have to do is right click select cell and then you want to apply the colors apply now it is applied okay fine so now you can able to see there is a more space it is a somewhat less space and somewhat less space if you want to align the content okay okay how to align this fine you select the table by clicking the table or else you select anywhere on the table and right click select table okay now go to table properties here you can able to see specify worth uncheck it okay apply it and click ok so now you can able to see 
the space has been reduced okay or else you select the table how to select the table right click select table okay and then right click where you can able to find modify and auto fit to the content okay you can use this option also right click modify auto fit to the content okay and now if you want to increase the font size you just select it and here you can able to increase the font size okay if you need more go for x large okay and save it go to file and save or else here's the option for save save okay so where you want to give a name let us say example one okay and save it so what I'm going to do save is index top save it as and now if you want to view this in browser how to view this so go to file or sub preview in browser you want to select these things internet explorer chrome as you like here is a shortcut okay so here is a shortcut you click on this where you can able to see your output ah, quite amazing right okay so this is how you want to use okay there is no border I want to apply the border for this okay first what I have to do is click right click select table and here is the option outside border all borders and top you can able to select as you like I'm going to give all borders okay and then save it and go to your browser and refresh now you can able to see now there is a border okay so this is how you want to use the table and one more option is there so without going to browser here is a super preview okay you can use this also for preview purpose without going to browsers here you can able to see the output okay and this is how you can able to play with tables I think you may enjoy this video and thanks for watching this video see you again